Hey guys, today just a little quick overview or guide about Exitlag. It's the software that I use to, yeah, to lower my ping in some games. I use it especially for World of Warcraft, where I raid or play more high mythic plus dungeons. So it's kind of competitive and I think when it's getting competitive, it's important to have a good ping. Here on North America or Latin America, we, you guys know we have the problem usually with sometimes with a high ping in games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft or whatever. And definitely Exitlib can help you to lower your ping. I think not always, so it's not like I can recommend it to everybody. But in my case, it lowered my ping from around 90 to 50, 55. So, yeah, nearly 50% uh, yeah, that it lowered the ping. So, in my opinion, a very good result. Uh, I also feel it. I think when you have a 50 ping and it lowers it from 50 to 45, so it's like <laughs> not a big difference. You cannot feel it. And then I would recommend to not use it because... It's an extra software that uses a little bit of your, yeah, of your, of your, of your computer system. So at the end, it it also takes some resources. So for five, for, for lowering the ping about five points, uh, it's not worth, in my opinion. But in my case, it was like forty, nearly fifty percent, and definitely then it's worth it. First of all, there's a three days trial, so you cannot really make something wrong. Try it three days out and you will see if it works or not. Even after the free trial, in my opinion, it's kind of cheap. It's around $6 per month. doesn't matter if monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual. It's At the end, it's around $6. Um, I mean, okay, it's money, definitely. But uh, I mean, $6 for getting a real, real good connection in the, in the game that you try to play competitive, it's definitely worth, in my opinion. A lot of uh, options, how you can buy it, a lot of payment options. Now I go quick into the menu, how it looks. It looks like this. In my case, I choose World of Warcraft. Let us first go into like the general settings here. It's called Tools, General. You can see my options that I that I have here. Nothing super special. The only maybe special feeling is that I want its opening on start. Usually I don't like when a lot of programs are opening on start. I have only Discord and Exitlick. Exitlack opening on start. So starting with Windows. Um it's definitely nice uh, because I usually go on the PC and start to play. And it's not like it takes some time. It takes like, I would say like 30 seconds till the program is completely on. So yeah, if you if you start your PC and directly want to do something in the first five seconds, whatever the reason could be, then it's maybe not the best option for you. If you only want to start it when you play uh, the game that you want to lower your ping, then just turn this off and start it, with, uh, start it when you want to start it before you want to start the game. In my case, these are the options. You can just copy it. FPS boost is for yeah, getting some more FPS if you are troubling with FPS. I have everything disabled because um, I don't have problems with FPS, so I don't use it. And all the other stuff are kind of, I would here never limit it, okay? But I think that's also uh, the setting at the start. Things like this are, I did not even see what is here. It's not necessary. So general, if you want to change here something, I think you can change it. You can read what it's doing, but at the end, just copy the settings. If you just want to try it out in the, in the free trial, copy these settings. Besides, you have problems with FPS, then maybe some of this can help. You can read it on the question mark on what it can help. And then going back to the game. Usually it's the best uh, to change uh, to uh, select your region. In my case, for example, it's the server Thrall from World of Warcraft. So I used the most close server to it. It's the Chicago One server. You can Google it in the internet. It's relatively easy to find. And then I have these options, two TCP, one UDP route, zero ICMP route. Then it looks like this. Uh, a, a 
press apply routes and you see estimated ping is around 52 at the moment. And as I said, before I used exit lag, I had around 90. Yeah, I think maybe even some days it was close close to 100, but I think most time it was uh, between 80 and 90. Yeah, definitely. So these are the settings. Also, you can just copy them. Uh, how is it with other games? I don't know. Maybe uh, there are better options that you can use for other games. But for World of Warcraft, definitely these are working very good for me. Maybe you have to choose another server. You can also use automatic if you are not sure and then try it out. So for the first three-day uh, three trial, just you try it out. Whatever is the best for you, copy the settings or not. And after these three days, you can decide if you if it helps you or not. In my case, as I told you, it helped very much. Um, I will put you a link in the description. You can use it if you want. And yeah, have fun with it. I hope it works also for you. I think like nearly 50% lowering the ping is pretty awesome. So try it out, check it out and have fun.